So I laid down the hub and made my trace around it. And now what we're gonna do is just simplify the geometry on that uh, in efforts to uh, save time. So we're just gonna go straight with our cut. So it'll be basically, uh, you know, you have three straight lines and some corners we gotta get around. But that's a whole heck of a lot easier than trying to trace around this. Doesn't have to be exact, obviously. Um, we will also have this new collar here welded to our new hub bracket just like that and then another one over here and of course we'll have to drill out for these holes to mount it to the uh, sub-assembly. We got the holes drilled um, on both of these spindles. The, the other one I actually finished up and drilled out all the holes here and um, mounted it up and it worked great um, in terms of fit. <laughs> Whether it's going to hold up or not, that's another story. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and drill these out and um, rat tail them out if I have to. And we'll go ahead and get this uh, spindle slash hub attached to the tiller assembly. And um, we'll take it from there.
So it's time to do the dry run. Our spindles are installed left side and our, on our right side. All fastened down. And uh, we're just gonna lock and lower. We're gonna put it onto the main shafts here, pin them down, and uh, again, we'll do a dry run. Just a little quick test, see how it goes. Let's do it. Okay, let's take the right side, and it's labeled, by the way. Okay, okay let's get our pin in place. Can get it through. Let's get our counter pin in. Just like that. I think we're good to go. There's a fully assembled, installed assembly. 